Good morning, YouTubers. T Square with T Square Talks. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, today, I kind of wanted to do a video just talking a little bit about silver and some of the different collectibles slash um, bullion or silver that you can buy. Uh, it's a question I actually get asked a fair amount. Um, what I think about collectibles. Uh, some stuff, you know, stuff that you've seen maybe. Um, where I get them, um, how the deals pan out and stuff, kind of like these, uh, this was the prize for Chris, um, B for be, being a member. Uh, if anybody wants to become a member, you can click that join button down there for only $1.99 a month. Every month we give out a ounce of silver, uh, in some way, uh, most common way will probably be random comment pickers. Uh, the memberships are fairly new. We've only done one big event already, um, for the football where we were given away every week you had an opportunity to try to win a free ounce of silver. Um, but normally it's just one a month. Uh, it's only $1.99 to join. It's something I don't talk about that often um, because it's fairly new and I really didn't know if I even wanted to turn it on, the option. Um, but it is a fun thing. If anybody would like to become a member, $1.99. If for some reason you can't do it through YouTube, uh, shoot me an email at tsquaretalk to me, that's T Square Talk, T O M E, at gmail.com, and I can give you another option um, using PayPal. Um, so if you're interested. Um, but today we're going to talk a little bit about um, collectibles and what you think. I know I, I have different viewpoints on this. So some of y'all have maybe heard me say um, in the past. You know, get some weight under your belt. Um, and I, I still stand by that. Um, and you see a lot of stuff coming across the table uh, periodically. Some of you guys have been following the channel for a long period of time. You see stuff changing in and out. Uh, you might see stuff today and then you might see it gone in a week or whatever. And the reason for that is I am always picking up deals on stuff. And some of these deals I do pass on to friends, family, different people that are into stacking. Um, it's it's a kind of a fairly big part of my life, obviously, because I do firmly believe in stacking. And it's a fun hobby. Um, coin collecting, it's, you know, for most people, it starts off their coin collectors, and then they all of a sudden get into stacking silver. But a lot of times you can hear stuff come up where people just absolutely get taken advantage of. I wish I had a bar of silver right here. I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere on this table, uh, somewhere, uh, in one of these boxes, but I'm not, I can't move everything around, but it was a bar that my mom had actually bought. Um, my mom had heard me talking about silver and she's like, you know, I, I want to get into it. And then somehow somebody called her up or she saw something in a magazine. I think she saw it in a magazine called them and then they called her back and sold her a, like a two ounce bar of silver for like $179. And it was a, a bullion bar. Um, unfortunately, old people, older people get taken advantage of heavily um, when it comes to that. And, you know, she's told me, and I've, I've not only heard this from her, I've heard it from other people that, well, you, you said you think silver will go to a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars. I said, I think it will go way past that personally at some point. But here's the thing. Do you really want to pay uh, $75 an ounce today when you can essentially pick up three ounces for the same $75 right now. Um, that kind of worries me when people get taken advantage of because it really does put a sour taste in their mouth about collecting because they have to wait so long to get their money back. However, I have an, also have a rule that anything I buy, I mean, if I don't pass it on to somebody, I'm prepared to keep it. I'm, I'm prepared to kind of stand my ground and essentially hold it because I believe that it will do well. Now, certain items like um, this Emmett Smith coin, I'll start off with that one, uh, only because I've started doing some shorts showing some of the really cool coins that I pick up. And, you know, just something quick. Um, 
But one of the things like that Emmett Smith coin, uh, it, it's just one ounce, nine 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 silver. However, obviously, if you're a Texan fan, a a, a Dallas Cowboy fan, uh, or you know you're in Texas, you you probably have a special spot for the Dallas Cowboys. Maybe even Emmett Smith. Maybe you grew up watching Emmett Smith playing, um, that type of stuff. So you know. For people to pay a little bit more for a coin like that, that especially one that's limited to 7,500, um, it, to me, it can be a good deal. Even though it's a bullion coin, it's a bullion coin with a low mintage on it. Now, I, I want to be careful how people take this advice because in some cases, like I said, a lot of times people can get severely burned buying collectibles. The first goal that I tell everybody is... If I were you, I would want to get some ounces under your belt. If you're new to stacking, I would not focus on collectible stuff. And and it's something that I've heard people say, well, you buy collectible stuff. I've been collecting uh, or stacking for a long time. Um, I have a certain amount of ounces put away in a secure place that is nowhere near me. Uh, it would actually take some work for me to go to the location and get them. Um, it's... It's there for the long road. It's not something that I need to look at. They are absolute bullion 999 ounces. There's absolutely nothing special about them. Um, but it's my, uh, what I'm going to say is my ounce count. It's the, a set amount of ounces that I believe that I, in my position, should have. And if something happens to me, um, then that will get passed on to a relative uh, my son specifically, I'll say that. Although hopefully he ain't watching. I don't want him necessarily to know everything right off. Um, but I don't think he's watching. <laughs> um, so, you know, when you do that, you get a certain amount of ounces under your belt. And then it's okay to pick up some deals when you see them. I, I have a tendency to travel a lot. Some of you all know that about me. Some of you guys have actually met me in person. Um, when I travel, I travel back and forth to Maine multiple times, back and forth to Tennessee. I've done Florida, California, Vegas. Um, one year, me and my son actually drove from Maine. This was while we were YouTubing. Um, drove from Maine all the way. We were going to San Diego, but then something came up while we were in Las Vegas. And I had to double back from Vegas back to Texas uh, a little quick. So I had to cut it a little short. Um, and it's something that, you know, we'll probably take a drive out that way one day. But you never know. Wherever you're at in the United States, there's a lot of coin shops, flea markets, pawn shops. I know some of these places get really bad reps because there are a lot of fakes out there. and Not everybody's going to go out and buy a thirteen, fourteen hundred dollar $1,400 tester. Um, and I understand that, but there's a lot of less expensive options that usually will do you pretty good, kind of like the ping tester, um, which maybe I'll show that in a video and kind of talk about it in an upcoming video. Um, it's a great item. A lot of people have them and a lot of people do well with them. Once you understand the sounds that it makes, I've heard a couple people say that they have one and they use the app. I've never used the app with it. Um, However, you know, it's a really cool item. So once you realize that, you know, you can pick up a lot of these things at inexpensive prices, really, because in some cases, people don't even know what they have. Uh, some of y'all know Bumblebee, um, who's a, a dear friend of mine, and she's a subscriber on the channel. Um, she actually went to a yard sale a little while back, and yard sales are another example of great places. And she didn't even go first thing in the morning. Usually if I can't get to a yard sale early in the morning to look for this type of stuff, then I know I'm not going to find anything by like noon. She ended up going to one at noon and found a whole newspaper wrapped ball. And when she opened it up, it was all sterling silverware. Uh, some serving spoons, some serving forks, bunch of fork spoons and knives. Asked the lady what the deal was um, with the kitchen utensils. And the lady's like, I don't know, five bucks. And so she got them all for five dollars. Uh, that was pretty crazy. Uh, and it was a collectible set. Um, so it was even better. Um, she didn't know that it was a collectible set until she got home. The only thing she knew was, you know, it was stamped 925. 
uh, once you recognize the 925 label or you recognize the actual seals um, that they put or the stamps, then you pretty well, you can find a lot of good deals. And there's a lot of good deals to be had out there. I, I don't want people to be necessarily discouraged um, when they buy a, um, a collectible thinking that, oh, I'll never, you know, be able to recoup the money. You know, you take like that Emmett Smith coin right there, um, which has on it, it had a $40. I think I might have paid a couple dollars less. I might I may have gotten it for 35 um, because I picked up a bunch of stuff. But to some people, um, you know, you know, the uh, a cheap, cheap ounce of silver is probably going to cost you roughly $26 right now, maybe a $3 over spot. Can you find something cheaper? I'm sure you can find something cheaper if you're buying on sale and you don't really care. I mean, I've sold ounces as cheap as 25 because I didn't like that they have a tarnished look to them, kind of like this junk over here. And I know some people are like, are you kidding me? You call that junk? Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this type of stuff. It's been beat up. It's older. It's some people will call it vintage. I personally am not a fan of vintage. I like nice clean bars, uh, you know, stuff like this. Uh, I really like one ounce coins, uh, because a 10 ounce bar, you know, less people can afford a 10 ounce bar. Um, but it's, it's a great bar. It's a good way to put away, you know, a few hundred dollars and just put it away. Uh, you could literally bury this in the ground somewhere probably, and it will still be there most likely down the road, especially if you know your, um, where you're putting it. Uh, a great example of that is, um, the honey post. I'd actually heard that in a uh, trivia question. I don't know how many of you know what a honey post is. Um, it's the last fence post on a property. And in the old days, they would actually bury gold and silver coins at the honey post, which was the last post on the fence row. Um, a little thing, if you're ever out metal detecting and you run across an old fence, uh, you may want to just dig around it a little bit or check around it if you got a metal detector. Um, but, you know, this stuff can do really well. Uh, I'll take that Emmett Smith again since we were just talking about that. When those originally came out, silver was only like... I don't know, uh, maybe ten, fifteen dollars when they came out um, back then, and it may have even been a little less. And and they were cheap. And now you look at the spread as the spread spreads out. We've seen with the American Silver Eagles the big spreads um, at times, and you know there's opportunity there. Uh, I don't want people to think there's not and just go with weight. Uh, stack what you like. It keeps it entertaining and you get to have fun. Let me know some of the places you like to look for uh, good deals on silver. I love to hear your ideas because you might say an idea that I don't know. And people that don't know are going to read these comments and they're going to see your comments and they're going to you know, enjoy checking them places and see what they find. And then they're going to come back to the video and say, hey, I went to Coinstar and I found some free silver in my Coinstar machine or wherever. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. You guys have a great day, and I will see you guys again next time on T-Square Talk. Be sure and check out all the shorts on the channel. There's a special tab for shorts. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.